We've been talking for the last few weeks about um, fractions and um, one of the things that's in the Common Core State Standards is that we connect fractions to length. So we're going to start out by um, watching an espresso video um, about fractions um, to give you some prior knowledge. But before we do that, can anyone share anything that they know about fractions? Okay, sure, yeah? Fractions are part of a whole. Fractions are part of a whole. Okay, Abby, one more. You split them into equal parts. Okay, splitting into <coughs> equal parts. Well, it sounds like you know a lot about fractions. So while you're watching this video, see if you can make connections to what you know already um, to what you might learn from the video. I opened the lesson with the fraction video from Espresso um, to get the children on the same page with their prior knowledge about fractions. He wanted one half size. But there aren't any one half batteries left. He wanted a one fifth size too, but there aren't any of those left either. Maybe we could use more or less of some other size. You asked Numberella, I want to try something. The children, when I ask questions in the classroom, are referring to um, the, the pictures that they're seeing in the videos. Um, they look at the halves and can actually see them splitting. Um, can, they can see the pieces going back into the holes. So that visualization that Espresso provides is really helping to help them understand the concept. When you're looking at the paper that's in front of you, this um, rectangle that I've drawn up here, how many pieces is that divided into? Thomas? 16. 16 pieces. How did you figure that out? Whole numbers are also, if you look at your ruler model, you can see whole numbers. You can see 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. And just like we represent whole numbers on a number line, we can also represent fractions. All right. So now I'm going to ask you to look at the model. And I want you to tell me what you notice. Because 7 here and 7 here would be dividing it in half. And she probably made it a big mark here, yeah, like for the half mark. We are moving from using overheads um, to using projectors and using dot cams. And um, the Freyer model um, that I use can be put on the dot cam and be projected onto the screen. And then I can bring in an espresso video that also will help the children learn. I need one of the one-fifth sizes and one of the one-half sizes. We can bring the batteries and the dust bug. Today we learned about um, how fractions um, can be represented on a number line as a length and that is in our Common Core State Standards for third grade. So how did the video help you further understand equivalent fractions? Skylin? The video showed that all of them equal one whole. One half equals two fourths. I learned that you can split fractions into other fractions. I love that Espresso is aligned to the Common Core State Standards and I can go right in there and check even my Wisconsin standards um, in the program. The lessons are highly engaging for the children. Um, when you watch the children watching the video, um, I wish I could have that type of engagement as they're watching me when I'm teaching um, because they are thoroughly engaged and I feel that that really helps um, bring home the knowledge and the concepts that they need.